Thousands of Guatemalans have been celebrating the vice president's resignation in the capital, Guatemala City. It was the culmination of weeks of protests. Anger and frustration that had been directed towards Roxana Baldetti and the ruling party was replaced by chants, cheers and firecrackers. The protesters called it a victory for the people. Baldetti's resignation was announced by President Otto Perez Molina. He said it was a brave decision. The vice president, after talks in which we analyze what was taking place in the country, I reiterate, courageously made the decision to present her resignation. And what I think is that everything has its time. There are processes here, which I insist should be followed. There are processes established by law, and there are processes that all Guatemalans should respect. Baldetti's former private secretary is alleged to have been the ringleader of a corruption scam in which officials took bribes to lower customs duties. Investigators issued an arrest warrant for his arrest while he was on a trip to South Korea with the vice president. When she flew back home, she held a media conference to deny any wrongdoing. But two days ago, Guatemala's Supreme Court called on Congress to remove Baldetti's immunity from prosecution paving the way for possible legal action against her. Other senior officials have also been implicated in the bribery ring, including the head of Guatemala's tax authority. President Otto Perez Molina was elected in 2011 on the promise of fighting crime with an iron fist. This corruption scandal, the most significant in recent history, suggests he's had limited success. Molina isn't standing for office this time, but with just four months before presidential elections, some fear the damage to Guatemala's ruling party has been done. Its presidential candidate has withdrawn from the race, and some protesters are calling for President Molina to resign too. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Guatemala.